You know, a lot of people, when they, uh, like a lot of musicians, when they get off of uh, drugs and or alcohol, they have a hard time when it comes to doing their art. For us, you know, we were on The Bachelor, right? When you got off of uh, doing drugs and alcohol, how was it for you dating? Was it, you know, Biggie because you love people or did your game go down? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever had games, to be honest. <laughs> Stop hey, you got lying. The we saw we saw the show. The Stop tation. lying. <laughs> Yo, I just laid in the cut until I was in like until it came to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I had the patience. I'll tell you that. No, so it's a great question, and it's one that like in working with guys getting sober, men and women get getting so they, they always want to talk about the right yeah, and like yeah. for me, I'm kind of screwed out the gate because I sit down on a date and it's like what do you do for work? Well, I work in this. And then like the waiter comes and like, I order a club soda, like, all right, what's going on here? So I kind of hit them. Like, like, I mean, I'm screwed. Um, but like what I came to realize, and again, like this pertains not just to drinking, but if this person sitting across from me is going to judge me because I don't drink, then I'm out anyway. Cause I don't want to be with some, yeah. Like, so, so if someone's going to be that judgmental, which we see all the time in this world, like, peace i'm i'm on to the next one yeah on to the next one hey, tell me man it. you were uh you're obviously now engaged um how how did taisha when you first told her about everything you're telling us now i mean how did she take everything yeah so i took you know uh it was kind of like our first one-on-one and it was the night portion of the date and like there was somewhat of a build-up to that moment and i just remember kind of you know fielding some questions from the other guys and maybe some producers just about like exactly that, like the fear. Um, and I think like people were expecting me to respond in a way that like, I'm really scared. I'm really nervous. Like, I don't know how this is going to go, but like, you were super honestly, comfortable. I imagine. Yeah. Because that's because of the rehab, like, right? I like myself. I mean, that's yeah. just the truth. Like I like myself. So like, 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 <laughs> Fuck. Yes. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, that's it. Yeah, you love yourself. You know who you are. You know who's not for you and who's for you. It's simple as that. I, I mean, love that. Like, how do you not drink on the show? How, what was around being to a drunk guy? So I was like, I mean, maybe some dudes got drunk, but I, I met a lot of really cool guys out there, like yeah, good men. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. No, you do know. It's as sim- It's as simple as that, bro. Like the answer could be simple and to the point and succinct. You love yourself. You know who you are. You know who's for you and who's not for you. So. It truly can be that simple. I think that, quite honestly, we, we make it harder at times. It's like, hey, I don't want to drink. It's that simple, bro. It's that simple. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. Or I do want to do this. But I love it.